You want more evidence that this whole Russia scare over the alleged hacking is really nothing more than a witch hunt? Here's a perfect example that's coming out of Twitter. Twitter basically admitted that anything Russian is automatically something of suspect as being part of some kind of Russian conspiracy. No, seriously, that's basically how they worded it. Twitter's acting general counsel, Sean Egg, said as he testified before the Senate Intelligence Committee, we're looking at things like whether they're registered in Russia, do they have a Russian phone number, are they on a Russian mobile carrier, do they have a Russian email address, are they coming from a Russian IP, have they ever logged in at any time from Russia. Russian language or acrylic characters that appear in the account information or no name were also flagged as Russia linked. In other words, if it has anything to do in the smallest possible way with Russia or the Russian language, it's automatically something that is suspected of being an agent of the Russian government. Now, Russian shells include anyone who has ever lived in Russia, anybody who has ever bought a phone in Russia, someone who's ever used a phone in Russia. Like example, like you bought your phone in another country and you were visiting there and you used it and you, and you went on Twitter automatically you're suspect. Anybody who does business in Russia or has any dealings with Russians or has even printed in this Cyrillic language is automatically considered someone who may be a Russian agent. If this is not a perfect example of a witch hunt, I don't know what is. Well, the old witch hunts of Salem was that any, and basically any woman was automatically a witch and was under suspect. Basically just how Anything that's even slightly Russian in any way, even if it just has a similar alphabet, is automatically considered to be something of suspect. Uh, this is the level of nonsense that this entire, the entire witch hunt against Russia is going to. To something where they're completely abandoning reason and using a, a, a medieval scare tactic to try to cover up the fact that... Hillary Clinton stole the, the Democratic, Democratic nomination from Bernie Sanders and that she legitimately lost to Donald Trump. Donald Trump being president is a bad thing. I, 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 don't, I don't disagree with that statement. But Hillary Clinton lost. More, the vote went for Trump, and she cannot accept that. And now this whole power struggle to try to force Trump out of office, which I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be sad if he was, has now gone to the point where they're defaming Russia in order to say Hillary Clinton cannot accept the fact that she legitimately lost, that she was not as popular as Donald Trump, and be, and because of all this, Russia's name has to get dragged into the mud, and we see. You know, f from this, from, from Twitter's own statement, how dishonest they're being about it. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.